A LCD TV originally cost $990. It is estimated that it is estimated to depreciate at the rate of 15% a year in addition to a one-off drop of $150 at the time of purchase. Give the equation that represents the yearly value V of the LCD TV after T years. Use the equation to estimate the value of the LCD after 10 years. So it's a good habit to start with the table. So what are they saying? The original cost, okay, so let me write like this, the original cost, original cost is $990. Now, once you buy the TV, the value drops by $150 immediately at the time of purchase. So you can say, when time is zero, when time is zero at the time of purchase, the value of the TV drops by $150. That's only a drop, one-off drop. So if you take away $150, it is $840. And then it reduces by 15%. So let me make up a table here. Yeah? Or let's say table t, t for time and V for value. So when time is zero, when you bought the TV, the value is $840. After one year, it, re, it reduced by 15%. So find 15% of this. So let me show you how to find 15%. So 840 times 0.15 is 15 percent and then you can go 840 take away 126 which is 714 so after one year or if something is reducing by 15 percent this is one way of doing it or you can also go 840 times 0 0.85 now, if something is reducing by 15%, basically you're finding the 85% of that value. So that will also give you 714. So this is 714. So after two years, you also, again, let me show you how to find both ways. So you go 714, take away 0 0.15 times 714. Or you can also go directly 714 times 0 0.85. That will give you the same value, 606.9. So I think this is enough. So this is 606.9. And so on, this will keep on decreasing. Basically, the question is, after 10 years, if you keep going, after 10 years, what's this price? Or what's the value after 10 years? Now, this is called this is decreasing in a in an exponential way now the formula to find uh, the equation of an exponential relationship is general equation is like this y is equal to a times b to the power x where a where a is a is a constant and B is also a constant. Okay, and I'll show you A is going to be, we can work that out. A is always going to be the value or the Y value when your X is zero. In this case, A you will find is going to be 840. And B is the ratio, is the common ratio. So common ratio means it is this number divided by this number or it can be this number divided by this number so in this case it is 714 divided by 840 or it can also be 606.9 divided by 714 so let me show you that and that incidentally would be 0 0.85 so basically if you think about it this times this we saw is sorry this times 0 0.85 gives you this and this times this this times 0 0.85 gives you 606.9 so if you want to go backwards 
So you can let me show you the other way. So if you go 714 divided by 840 is the ratio. It's decreasing by that ratio. Okay. Or if you go 606.9 divided by 714, that will also give you the same value, 0 0.85. So in this case, we are going to replace y by v and x by t. So writing in context to this problem, so value is a times b is 0 0.85, so 0 0.85 raised to t. So now we know when t is 0, when t is 0, your value is 840. So we can substitute this into this equation. So we can say 840 is equal to a times 0 0.85 raised to 0 and anything raised to 0 is 1 so this is 840 is equal to a times 1 so I hope you can see and that's what I said a is the co constant which is associated with x value when x is 0 so a is 840 or you can understand this like this a is the initial value is the initial value and this is the rate at which it is decreasing so we can say well value of this LCD TV can be given by this formula of 840 which is the initial value times the rate which is 0 0.85 raised to T and I hope you understand 0 0.85 is related to the rate of 15 percent so to check your answer on a graphic calculator whether this makes sense Okay, now before I do that, so let's finish off. What's the value after 10 years? So you have to just put 10 here. So V is 840 times 0 0.85 raised to 10. So again, you have to get a calculator. So 840 times 0 0.85 raised to, this is the raised to key, this carrot key. Or this is also called a cap or a hat key, which is one sixty-five dollars, one sixty-five point three seven. To go into, if you want to write in two DP, but if you want to write as a whole number, it is one sixty-five dollars. So after ten years, the LCD will cost one sixty-five dollars as a whole number. Okay, so let me show this how you can check this on the calculator. If you have a graphic calculator. Go to your table menu and type in this equation, which is 840 times 0 0.85 raised to x. And then set from say 0 to 10, start at 0, end at 10, step of 1. So when time is 0, it is 840. The next is 714, 606.9, and then if you keep going in the 10th year, it is 165.37. Okay, so this is how you can write the equation of an exponential relationship uh, using the values and also checking it on a graphing calculator.